Woo! Hi, guys! Hi, guys! <laughs> How's everybody feeling today? Oh, I see that uh, people are in here in good time to say hello. Yeah, a lot of people messaged before we went live, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> it feels really nice, guys. So, can you let us know if you can see and hear us? Yeah, that's important. That's right? super important. Yeah, that's a good start. That's a I good guess. start. Let's start from there. Okay. Confirm if you can hear and see us. Yeah, please. <laughs> so, hi from Tennessee. Hello. Lisa says hi from Quebec in Canada. Wow. Hi, Camilla. Camilla, Camilla. Hi, Edwina from Ontario, Canada. Wow. And Jamie's back. Hi, my hi, friend. Oh, and Loretta is here from Leeds, UK. Hello. And they're confirming that they can see and hear us. Oh, so I'm so happy. We're on the good path today. <laughs> oh, Perfect. boy. Well... Should we give them a few uh, seconds to tune in or? Yeah, we can do. How are you? Yeah. How are you feeling today? Me? Yeah. I'm super nervous because I have an exciting news to share with you <laughs> later, but I'll, I have to like push it for later because I'm like, duk, 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 my heart is beating. Yeah. Let's so, just be patient there. Yeah. But I'm excited and excited to share these uh, tips and tricks today as well. Well, we'll say here that uh, Fandora Nandora is saying hello from the Netherlands. Wow. Hi, Pills Gaming. Aw. Oh, look at hi, that. Queens. He's like, hi, Queen. Oh! Hello. <laughs> yeah. What Beautiful. a compliment. <laughs> hi, Bet from Wisconsin. Wow. Is it cold in, in Wisconsin now? Is it super snowing? I don't know, but I see my mom. Aww. Hi, mom. Hi, Gita. Gita, Gita. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm just going to probably oh, yeah. gulping a lot of water. Let's go. Let's have a little... Ching 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 ching. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, shall we jump into it? Yeah, I think we can give a short uh, introduction. So, Tia and I are here today to share um, tips and tricks about different yarn types. Precisely. And I think I should start out by giving you a little example of yeah. what we mean by that, mm -hmm. right? So, for instance, I love to work with cotton, but I actually find that often. Um, after I weaved in my ends and maybe washed it a few times, mm -hmm. that the ends can easily come uh, oh, yeah. undone. Oh, yeah. Right? They're, like, they're yeah. like little spaghetti coming out. Yeah, because cotton is a slippery yarn. So yeah. I found a, a tip that is good for that. And that's just an example of one of the things we will be sharing today. So that's kind of what we mean with tips yeah. and tricks yeah. for different yarn types, yeah. right? So whether you are working with any kinds of, uh, of different fibers like wool or cotton or acrylic or yarn changing colors, we yeah. have some tricks that we want to mention today and they might change your life. I oh, mean, yeah. the, the one I'm going to show you guys <laughs> has changed my life. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. It's super exciting. So what do we have here? Oh, oh. same. He's from, uh, or he, or he, or she is from Denmark. Yeah. And then paperclip is from. I do not know if I can men. Can I pronounce that? Mississauga. 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 So saga. Is, how do you say it? Oh, she can't. Miss, miss, <laughs> yeah, she can't say it. <laughs> Oh, and Jamie is from Illinois. Okay, cool. And Anika is saying greetings from Germany. Hi, Anika. Hi, Renee from Toronto. Wow. And There's Stina. Stina. Oh, Hi, that's actually Stina. one of our colleagues. Hi, Stina. Oh, Aya Aviaja Peterson. Avi <laughs> is it Aviaja or Aviaja? Aviaja. 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 Okay. Aviaja Peterson. Yeah, and she's and from see. Denmark. Shauna is saying hi too from Florida. Hello. Oh Hello, March. Hello, Lori. My goodness. Lori's back. Yvonne. Oh, oh my God. There's so many people today. Hi from Norway. Sis Tanya. Oh, okay. Ooh, There's a lot of people. Boy. Okay, guys. Um, actually, we forgot to mention before. So besides from doing the tips and the tricks about the different yarn types, mm -hmm. we're also going to be sharing uh patterns and yarn that is hot off the hooks hot off the hooks that's it's like a new news. yeah it's like the news yeah it's like the news it's in Hobie Hobie land. Yeah, yeah exactly so uh, that's gonna be really exciting and yeah. at the very end uh gia's gonna show us how to uh, finish up our headband from the last time and if you have no idea what we're talking about i linked uh, a link in the description box so you can go back and watch that after yeah. um, but but basically we started a headband last time right yeah we started uh teaching you how to knit yeah <laughs> we started teaching uh lena how to knit yes so uh, oh basic <laughs> casting on and uh showed her the knit uh, stitch and the purl stitch and how to recognize her stitches which is probably the most important thing 
uh, when you're learning how to knit. And basically what we're going to do today is, well, showing how to cast off. Yeah. Bada beam, bada boom. So yeah. And uh, also I want to mention that uh, last time we shared our uh, hashtag, which is Hubi Live, and you can see it here. I put it somewhere there. There. Whoop, whoop. Um, so if you want to share anything with us on Instagram, um, doesn't even matter what it is. Yeah. Just Use you, the hashtag. If you want to just show us what you're working on while yeah. hanging out with us, yeah. just do it. Use it, Hopi hashtag. And I mean, we're always checking it and we're like, oh, I hope somebody yeah. did it. So yeah, yeah, just go ahead and use it. And yeah. And I saw that J-Hook from last time uh, posted uh, that she did her headband. Precisely. That's so nice. So hopefully when we have more hashtags, we will uh, give shout outs here. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be So nice. maybe we should... Um, get started i think that you are the first one entering the stage of tips and tricks tips and tricks the theme of today yeah so. all right so i'm gonna start with my favorite fiber which mm -hmm. is wool yeah and i'm gonna teach you how to connect one ball to another ball one scheme to another scheme yeah basically right and yeah and that's normally pretty uh, you it know. can be like especially if you're working with chunkier wool it mm. is extremely extremely annoying to have to do a knot and if you don't know how to connect it it's just annoying because then <laughs> you're just gonna make a knot and then you're knitting and you see like a bulky knot somewhere oh, like yeah eh, yeah and you don't want that so no. i actually learned a trick from oh. one of our designers that's so exciting um and, and it who? has changed my life oh okay it has changed my life because um so so wool is a spinned yarn a spinning yarn yeah um so it's actually really really easy to uh to connect it <laughs> oh so i'm so gonna excited. show you guys and i'm gonna show you now cool while i'm gonna get my wool lena is just gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna make there. a little uh sum up <laughs> if you will so if you're just tuning in right now, G and I are here today to share tips and tricks on um, how to use uh, different yarn types. So G is right now getting her uh, first yarn, which is wool. And she's going to show us how to connect two balls of yarn, Precisely. wool yarn, uh, in a way that you uh, it's like seamless, right? That you yeah, can't see. It's yeah. super, super, super seamless. And it is a technique that is slightly... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's a little bit yucky. Yucky? It's a little bit disgusting. But, oh. But doing it this way it, it is just the best way to do it, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I just, you know, I have my leftover from my headband, so I'm just going to use that because I don't want to start two uh, new balls. But I'm just going to randomly um, cut, and we are going to pretend that this is the ball that is finishing, and this is our new skein of yarn. And we have to connect these two. <laughs> boop, boop. Yeah, it fell down, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, we have accidents in the studio sometimes. So what we have to do is, you see how this this uh, thread can easily be unraveled, if you want to mm. call it like that? Unspin it, basically. Yeah. So what we have to do is take a chunk from our old skein here, unravel it up. Just going to rotate it and unravel it. Like this. Mm -hmm. Bada bim, bada boom. We're going to do a little thingy like this. And the same with our new yarn, our new skein of yarn. And then we're just going to remove about half of each. So half of the consistency of each. So it's not so bulky anymore. Mm. Right? So it's a little thinner this way here. You're okay? trimming it a bit. I'm trimming it. That's the perfect <laughs> It's word. getting a haircut. It's getting a little hair done. So once you do that, you're going to do the same on the other thread. Here we go. Getting the hair off. Bada beam, mm. bada boom. So now we have these, um, these threads that are basically, uh, they lost a little weight here. <laughs> and that's what we want to do because we want to connect them. Yeah. So if, if they weight the same way, then it's just going to be very... Uh, you know, it's going to be quite chunky. Yeah. That's why we do that. Mm -hmm. And now what we're going to do now for the disgusting yucky part. Oh, these two have to go in your mouth. In your mouth. <laughs> yes. So we are so going what's... to use this technique. I'm going to uh, unveil it. It's called the spit splitting technique. Oh, 
Okay. So we are going to basically apply spit on both of them. Not too much, <laughs> not too little. I know it's yucky, but believe me, there's something about spit that makes it super... Uh, uh, it just it just connects it better. It yeah, sticks I, it better, okay? I, I totally believe you. <laughs> I mean, I tried this with water. It doesn't work the same okay, way. Okay, okay. So we're going to just... I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the yucky uh, thing of putting them in my mouth to put a little bit of spit on it. Yeah. There we go. Mm. It's like eating cotton candy. Oh. And here it is. I applied a little bit of spit on them. And now we are going to unravel it like this a little bit. So CJ Spice is asking if you could use water and add some sugar to it. I actually have never tried that. Mm. But it could work. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to test it. And it's good that you guys are coming up with, uh, you know, different suggestions. Because then we can try it out. Mm. And now, basically, we're just going to put them on top of each other. And we're going to spin them. You're going to spin them? Okay. We're going to spin them. So we're going to spin them by basically just rubbing against. Just going to do this kind of movement. Yeah. And we're just going to go back and forth, up and down, up and down, up and down, until all of that becomes... <laughs> oh my god, you got some really good comments here. Oh yeah. So first of all, does that spit splitting technique work on all fibers? And I know that the answer to that is no, no right? No, yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. I wish it <laughs> yeah. did, right? Yeah. Because then it could... Uh, no, no, it doesn't. This works only with the natural fibers, like, yeah. uh, you know, wools. Just because yeah. this is the way it is, yeah. right? But there are other techniques uh, to uh, connecting um, yarns. And, you know, maybe in the upcoming uh, lives we can do that. So yeah. here it is. I mean, I didn't do such a good job because I'm in a rush. But believe me, this is hyper secure. This will not... Uh... Oh, Stina is sharing a nerdy fact about this method. And she's saying that it's the enzymes in the spit that makes the wool bind together. Oh. And that's why it works. Yeah, and uh, Susie is saying, so the nasty acid in her mouth is finally good <laughs> for something. And you're so right, Susie. Oh, oh. What a joy. But, it, but it's see, really good. Yeah. yeah, and even if it doesn't connect super well, it's okay. Because then you're just going to unravel it a little bit more. And then yeah. just give it another spin. Right? So you do that until you make sure that it's all pretty and nice and secure. Yeah, and as a uh, claptrap is writing here, that it's basically felting the yarn, right? Yeah, that is pretty much it. So here it is. Oh my disgusting. god! It looks. It literally looks seamless. That's so nice. I mean, I didn't do such a good job because I was in a hurry, and yeah. <laughs> you know, but but it is seamless. I mean, if you put in the effort to you know and the patience to do yeah. it properly, it is seamless. I'm just gonna go disinfect my hands. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Good job, Gia. Thank you so much for sharing that. I actually thought that was super cool, even though it's a little bit disgusting. I feel that the result is completely worth it. Like I, that was really mesmerizing to me. Because it, is, it changed my life, believe me. Like when I found that out, yeah. it changed my life. And I, all my friends know about it now. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, you have to try this trick. This is the best thing ever. Yeah, right? so. it was so cool. I will never again do a magic knot on my wool. Good. Because even though it's really cool, you can see it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like if you yeah. work in, in a thick yarn like Molly. <laughs> Mikkel saying, it's like magic. Well, it yeah. totally is. It's a kind of, ma it's, it's yarnlicious. Beautiful. Come back to me and have a sip of water. Oh, I really need it because all no. that spitting all my spit out. I <laughs> spit. <laughs> By the way, G and I are firm believers in the fact that the cup matters. Oh, yes. <laughs> the cup very much matters. I actually got this one from Lene. When I got, I got uh, hired here, she was sweet enough to get me a little cup. I really believe and, that uh, it matters. It does. The cup matters, right? It, it does. Uh, it does something to your mindset. Anyways, um, if anyone just tuned in now, Tia and I are here today to share our best tips and tricks for using different yarn types. And Tia just showed us how to use spit. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! And turn it into magic. <laughs> yes. So it's basically the split. No, the spit splitting yeah. technique for um, for uh, combining the wools, yeah. for uh, putting two uh, strand wools together. And also, like as a reminder, if you guys are you know tuning in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, oh yeah, go ahead and subscribe and you know yeah, and make sure the, to to push the notification bell because yeah. this way you'll be notified about all everything the we do, cool content we make. Yeah. Yeah, that would be so nice. And so Evi is asking us to say, well, well, me flu. 
which I can say because I'm Danish. <laughs> right? <laughs> and let's see what uh what are Oh, I like to know how the first person came up with the split splice. Oh, I would love to know that as well. If anybody finds out, use a hobby uh a hobby live hashtag, Do hashtag it. hobby live and let us know. We are completely nerd, so we would actually love to to yes. know that. Yeah, yes. Definitely. <laughs> so what else here? Yeah, we just have a look some oh Peter Peter Bro, Peter Bro from the UK. Hello from there. And yeah, should we move on to the next yes. hack? Because I'm super curious to see that cotton hack you have yeah. prepared for us. So actually the hack that I have right now is the one that I used as an example in the beginning of mm -hmm. um of this live so as i said i really love working with cotton yeah but i find that um because it is a quite it's, it's more of a slippery yarn than yeah. wool for instance because wool kind of sticks to itself yeah so i feel like my once i've weaved in my ends and maybe give it a wash or two the ends poke out yeah, and I think that happens also with bamboo. Yeah, because and it's linen. even yeah. even slipper, oh, yeah. slippier. Oh yeah. So, so I have a tip on uh, how to weave in your ends when you're specifically working with cotton. You want to pop over to the? I will pop. help us out here. So I just prepared a mini sample, mm -hmm. and uh, I already found my tapestry needle and threaded that. Yes. So. I'm sorry I have a little, little bit of like wool thingies under my nails. <laughs> That's what it's like. I, was, I just prepared you the little scissor. Oh, look at this cute little scissor. Thank it's you. actually available Sweet on our website if you want to get it. <laughs> All right. So. Um, so show us. Yeah. So I threaded my tapestry needle and I'm ready to go in to weave in my ends. And first I'm just going to get my, my yarn uh, a little bit into the piece here. Nothing like super wowza about that so just give it like um a good i'm sorry about my nose it's a bit runny how do you say that yeah you've it's always had a runny nose no super not good all right guys let's just say this is this is the place where we're secure about that mm -hmm. so then this tail is a little long i'm just gonna cut it a little bit mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna go and look at the at the thread itself here mm -hmm. and I'm gonna split the plies oh. in the middle Wait. okay you can't really see it but what you've done is basically you've inserted your needle yeah. through the thread and you just split it into so okay you, you split your thread here mm -hmm. uh, the plies you, you like split them into half mm -hmm. right oh that nose guys then you take one of the you know um, plies or what you want to call it like the ends mm -hmm. first off you learn how to thread a tapestry needle <laughs> oh boy. just take your time meanwhile people are saying that if if we can just spit into a bowl instead of putting the yarn in your mouth definitely i mean you can i actually i actually do it in my hand i put the yarn in my hand and i spit in my hand and then i you know i rub against so uh, but yeah i'm ready to show the next i'm gonna see if i can come a little closer mm -hmm. so once you have half of your of your end here yeah you want to just move that like a little bit away from from where you have your other one mm -hmm. just you know whatever kind of it's nice for you and this way you can tie a knot mm -hmm. and you know, I know this is cotton, 100% cotton yarn, so I can <clears throat> tie it pretty hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see and that. And you know what I'm just going to do? Ha! You're going to use my little scissor in the end. And I'm going to cut it really, really, really close. Oop. There you go. Okay, so you're cutting it super close to the... And it won't go anywhere because it's actually weaved in in two directions now. Okay, so you can basically... You can also go a little further in with yeah, it, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Whatever you like. But just to kind of show you the technique of splitting up the ends and and then tying a knot. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And I mean, I like it. And you can't see it. You really can't see it. I feel like the fact that you've split it in two yeah. makes it like, you know, thinner. So you I'm actually... So um, <laughs> this is very nice. Mm, I like I like using that okay. technique at least. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I liked it. Thank you. But you know what? 
I think it's time to introduce some of the news we have here at home. Yes. So I'm hot just off gonna the hooks. Hot off the hooks. Ooh. We're actually going to eventually make up a song because we need a song for this, yeah. right? Like every uh, news has like an introduction song. Yeah. We need a hobby introduction song. We actually do. Hot off the hooks. Okay, so in hot off the hooks, I'm going to yeah. show you guys... Two new Two yarns. Two new yarns. Yes. And I'm just going to get it. It's right here. And believe me, you're going to love it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bam, 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 bam. Should I start with the one that I'm absolutely obsessed with? Yes. Or should I start with the one? Because actually, the, the other yarn we're showing, um, somebody in our previous life asked for it. Yeah, I think it was uh, J-Hook. It was it J-Hook? Oh, yeah. Too bad she's not here. But, uh, <sighs> but yeah. I'm sure she's going to watch this later. So, J-Hook, we got you covered. We got the yarn you asked for. All right. So, let's just get to it. This is a new yarn that we have here available on our website. And I am obsessed with it. And I will explain why. Okay. Because this, my darlings, is a gorgeous blend of wool and bamboo. I don't know if you can see it too well. Maybe I can actually show it yeah. more here. Yeah, I think that's... Can you reach? <laughs> I can reach, actually. Wow, yeah, that's that's really good. It is so soft and so shiny. Very shiny. That I cannot even, like, I... I, I wow. I cannot. This is very, uh, what do you call it? You know, my... Uh, I always do this when I the, test the it. The softness uh, test. The softness the test. test. The itch test. Yeah. It is not itchy. You have to, uh, it's have actually to perfect it. Ooh, for yeah, baby really... clothing because it is not itchy and it's very warm. Ugh. And, I mean, wool can uh, actually, you know, is a very good isolator mm. and a good uh, regulator of temperature. Yeah. So it's just, it's perfect for babies. So if you are thinking about making yeah. something for babies... This, my love, is what you need. <laughs> and I mean, the colors Aww. we have, they're all kind of pastelish colors. The glow to it is like really uh, significant. Like it's not in your face, but it's certainly there. Like So it is uh, It is a yarn from uh, our friends at Go Handmade and yeah. it is called Vintage. Yeah. And like I said, it is bamboo <laughs> and wool and mixing is 70% wool, 30% bamboo. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we have some questions about the yarn here. Yes. Um, so Erica is saying the green one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I get that because it's really beautiful. Yeah. And uh, MK is asking, what's the name? It's called Vintage. Yeah, uh, it Hank. is Vintage. Vintage Because Hank. it's in a Hank. It's in a Hank. Yeah. too because we actually have these in a smaller. So this is actually 100 grams. Mm. But we have them also in 25 grams, which are small little schemes. Yeah, exactly. But this is in a Hank. Yeah. So yeah, the crochet, oh, the hook, crochet hook. hook. Hello from India. Sorry, no, just like, da, da, da. I'm just like it's jumping okay. over as it's always, okay. just super excited. Yeah, any purple? I, th I, I think there know. might be purple. We don't have it. We didn't yeah. bring this here because we brought only three colors that we are obsessed with. Yeah, the light pink though. Oh my god, the light pink. Yeah, I'm actually so regret not bringing it, but it's yeah, gorgeous. but we can't bring all the colors here because uh, look at the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can't have it all. I know. But um, what on earth? Yes, I wanted to tell you guys that I put links in the description box for everything that we are kind of showing today. So you can find there is a direct link in the description box as well. So, um, yeah, just want to show it again. Remember vintage from Go Handmade, the Hank. And like it says here, a luxurious blend of wool and bamboo. Mm. with a nice softness and lightness i'm actually looking forward to actually getting this um this yarn for myself and knitting a vest out of it for this summer mm. so um it's gonna be something but hey i'm gonna actually show you guys the next yarn yeah from hot that. off the hooks do you want me to take that off your hands <laughs> you can take that off my hands but uh, don't run away with them because i would if i were you Oh no, maybe they won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> the crochet hook is saying that it's a beautiful pistachio green. It's true. It's really beautiful. My favorite one is the yellow, obviously, because yeah. I'm all about uh, yeah. uh, curry color and yellow color and, you know, sunny yeah. and happy. So What's beautiful. the weight of the yarn? Oh, 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 oh. Let me just Sorry. see. It says that it is 100 grams, so 240 meters, and it's a needle size 3 to 4 millimeter. So that's a... Uh, 
for 10 centimeters or 4 inches, that's 26 stitches. So it's a quite a thin yarn. Yeah, somebody's saying, is that a number 3 or a number 4 yarn? I think it's more a number 3. Hmm. But you can check out all the details on our website and you can just find the link in the description box and it'll go straight there. Yes. yes. All so, right. Bada boom. The next one. Here is the moonwalk. It's going to do a little moonwalk for you guys. This is our next yarn. Uh, we promised um, J-Hook that we will show it. And I actually, I mean, I brought these two skeins. But I've also brought in, I'm just going to show them up close. This wow. is the green one. It has some beautiful glitter in it. It really it. does. I love it. It's just gorgeous. And here's the purple one that I also super love. They're really gorgeous, actually. Yeah, but actually, um, I was uh, in design earlier in the design department. Yeah. <laughs> and the girls have actually designed some socks with it. So... I figured I would bring in the socks. I love how you guys get so excited every time we have glitter and sparkles because uh, <laughs> we are also like, uh, you know, the birds that's, that goes to steal the gold, the, yes, yeah. the rings and jewelry stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's like, ah! That's us. And yeah. if we're like, we're going in the, in the design department and we're like, hey, hey, what other designs are there here? Let's steal everything. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I showed you guys the green and the purple. Which is super beautiful. Here's one more time if you want to see them up close. Very sparkly and glittery. Here's the blue. And actually a knitted sock. Wow. It is so gorgeous. The, the, what is it called? The glitter in this is so sparkly. I love it. It's, and It's nice to see it worked up in, in you know, something. To see how it kind of looks. And my favorite oh, one. Oh, that's so good. I love this one. I could... I could knit like a thousand socks in this one because it has like some super, super sparkly pink in there, as you guys can see. And then it's just, oh, it's just gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. This design, well, I mean, both socks are going <laughs> to actually uh, come up soon on the yeah. website and they're going to be, you know, free to download. Yeah, of course, as always. As all our patterns so are. So you're getting a little sneak peek here, guys. So it is a sneak peek. Yeah. But so, I yeah. see that you guys are excited about the moonwalk yarn, and that's Ooh. so nice. And Miguel is also asking uh, you guys what would you make with the moonwalk, and I would love oh, yeah, to know true. that as well. Like, what what are you thinking when when you see this yarn? What are you thinking of? What projects are you thinking of? Because it is a sock yarn, right? Because yeah. it's seventy four percent wool, and then yeah. the rest is polyamid and polyester. So. It is made specifically for socks, but I'm actually curious if you can make, you know, what other thing you could yeah. make with it, yeah. right? Because it's so sparkly and it's so, mm. oh, I could just see myself in a disco wearing yeah. like a, <laughs> a mini skirt out of it. It is. A mini I would, skirt, I would yeah. sparkle the night. Oh, you always sparkle oh, the night, yeah. Well, so let me just see what your guys are saying. Yeah, let's read the comments. Yay, free patterns. Of course, free patterns. And Sabina's saying hello from Germany and that she likes her yarn. Hi, Sabina. Hi, Sabina. And Tina uh, says that she wants the socks and all the socks. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, a scarf or a shawl. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. And a cowl. Yeah. And a cowl. A scarf. You can make a scarf, yeah. Ear warmers? Oh, my God. Like, yeah. I would love to yeah. actually see a pattern for ear warmers. Oh, yeah. I've never seen a pattern for ear warmers. So I, I mean, I've never thought about it, so I've never Googled it or searched it. It might be a, a pretty awesome idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but uh, what about you? Mm. Do you have anything prepared for us for hot off the hook? Oh, so, yeah. Sorry, guys. I just, uh, while I go find it, can you make a, uh, maybe a short, like, uh, uh, update for guys who are just yeah, tuning in? Definitely. All right, so if you're just tuning in, me and Lena are presenting some tips and tricks about different kinds of fibers today. And we're also presenting some new products that we have, well, some new yarn, and also some new patterns mm -hmm. that we are actually going to jump into right now. Yes. And uh, yeah, use Hobby Live, hashtag Hobby Live, if you guys want to share anything with us on Instagram. Yeah, we would love that. So I have a crochet pattern that is new. First off, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you the newest one and I'll give you a little explanation after. Mm -hmm. So let me introduce Pink the Penguin. Oh God. Look at this little guy. I love him. Aww. 
He's crocheted in Rainbow 84. Uh -huh. um, and he's so sweet. He is so adorable. Like, oh my god. Look at the little but, peak. Can yeah. I go closer with yes, it? please. I couldn't reach. <laughs> Look at that little peak. Yeah. It's like, like the eyebrows. It's like, <laughs> and actually, um, it's uh, it's part of um, a whole range of patterns that are being, um, you know, uploaded uh, for free from mm -hmm. the designer Piff Puff, which is uh, one of our hobby friends designers. And during the next year, um, we will be revealing some of her patterns. And he actually has a friend, and that's Pong the Penguin. And he was released a few <laughs> weeks ago. So they are such a cute little team. Yeah, I love it, and I just love Piff Puff's um, like uh, Amrigumi patterns because they're super detailed. Yeah, they really are. But they are also easy to make. Like they are really easy to make. I mean, I know you made yours yeah. like super fast. Yeah. I think it took you less than a few days. <gasps> you can remove the hat. <laughs> yeah, I, I love, love that. that. I think what I like the most about these is the little flaps, the little arms. They're like hello. <laughs> Look at that! It's so cute. Can I actually show it with a big one? Yeah. Oh, everybody's saying that these are so cute. Yeah, they're really, they really are cute. They're like the cutest things in the whole world. Oh, I wish we were not so exposed. Yeah. <laughs> and I would say if you were like a beginner and you're just starting out and want to try out doing Amigurumi, if you start out with the little guy, Ping, um, then when you're ready, you can do a Pong, <laughs> which yeah. is the big guy, right? Yeah. Because it's kind of, the, it's the same way you just add on more and mm -hmm. it's bigger. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, I really them. enjoyed making these. They're like best friends. Yeah, they're so cute, man. They're super like, come adorable. On. And yeah. I know that there's a lot of different ones coming out. Oh, so yeah. So I'm super excited to see what, what else. Over 20 patterns are being um, released during the, this year. Mm -hmm. So you should really uh, keep an eye up. And, and I'll try to make sure to let you know when we have some new patterns coming out of. Oh, people are saying cutest ever. Oh, my goodness. How cute. We know. It, yeah. They're super cute. And uh, yeah, people are saying they love them. And yes, the fishies, man. This yeah. baggie with the fishy. Actually, you can take the bag off. Mm. So I'm just going to show you the baggie from up close. It is so detailed. I mean, the little uh, yeah. the little pocket and everything. Yeah. It is so cute with the little fishies. I just want to like <clears throat> go fishing with it, you know. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Amy is asking how... Uh, if we can tell her how big they are and if you can use you're saying ribbon 88 i don't know maybe you meant rainbow 88 yeah um and yes you can it will just be bigger uh, bigger and you will obviously need to use a needle that fits the 88 yeah um we ha actually have a measuring tape right there so i'm just going to measure the height of uh, the big penguin here mhm mm in like, inches or yeah, in just, centimeters? Are we doing it in inches or Let's centimeters, do it both. guys? Okay, so in height he is, mm, I would say nine inches or twenty-three centimeters. What would you say? Maybe more, a little, less, yeah, a little less, a little less, like twenty-one. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, twenty-one or eight and a half inches. Yeah, and um, we had another question: mm -hmm. if we sell the stuffing too? Actually, we uh, do, but I'm, we do. Uh, yeah, 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 I think that you, uh, you, um, you actually wanted to use a special <laughs> stuffing for yours, right? Yeah. So first, I test. Yeah, I mean, this example is uh, stuffed really hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you, we have different kind of stuffings on our website. So it's just choosing whatever you like. And mm -hmm. I know that uh, I put uh, a link in the description box, mm -hmm. and if you follow that, it's is suggesting. The filling that is used uh, for this guy. Yeah. And I would uh, recommend you the, to use that if yeah. you can. And to use like a lot of it. like Yeah. Yeah, because that was your issue, right? Because yeah. you didn't put enough stuffing at first. And then you had to like just undo a little bit and add some yeah. extra in it. So, so be generous with the stuffing. But yeah, you can find it on our website. And yeah, in centimeters. So yeah, 21 and a half, 22, 23-ish. Yeah. And uh, MK is asking if we made them in Rainbow 84. And yes. Yes. That's what uh, these uh, examples are made in. And the great thing is that you can you know you choose your colors you can make them in so many different colors you yeah. don't have to stick with the colors in the pattern i mean no, i would have done them all. in different colors yeah, you know yeah. i would have maybe done them in a in a cream color and a and a, a <laughs> pink hat for sure yeah of course or a purple hat so um does the back with the fish uh comes in the pattern yes. yeah if you go find pong the penguin um 
he's the one with the you know everything you see here is is in that pattern and with ping is everything you see there right yeah, yeah. precisely so ping is like the beginner beginner yeah. and pong is basically the it's, it's also a beginner because i'm like it's also a beginner yeah right? it is because it is literally very very basic stitches mm -hmm. and a lot of repetition mm -hmm. um but you need to be uh you know a, awake and able to count and you know recognize your stitches right yeah, but yeah. it's it's a great pattern really oh sorry i'll take them yes please, should we please, uh, please. move on i think that you have yes. some uh, i actually do have two patterns yeah. um that have just been released super recently on our website and it's something that's one of them is super fashionable so i've seen so many designers do it yeah. ours included right mm -hmm. and i love these things and I just want to show you guys. Okay, so these <sighs> two little thingies, please let me know which one do you like the most. I'm going to explain what they are in case you've never seen. So they're basically, instead of having a scarf, you actually just knit a little neck. Yeah, I think that uh, in, in Denmark we call it Helsedise. So it's a... It's a, a neck warmer. A neck warmer. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's that, super cool because yeah. then you can just put your jacket over and it looks like you're actually wearing a a sweater but <laughs> fool you it's not yeah. and it's actually nicer to wear than 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 a headband because then it stays snug yeah. on your neck right it won't fall off it won't you and know and also you have some some warmth down the back here precisely which is uh, you know been really nice uh, <laughs> During the last couple of months here. Yep, yep. <laughs> so basically, this is knitted in tweed. I'm actually going to show them <laughs> up close. Oh, man. I remember this comment from um, from last time that in the U.S., these are called a dicky. I remember someone oh. saying that the last time. Yeah. Well, here it is. Here it is, the dicky. And I don't the know if you one, guys... The green, the one. green one is gorgeous. So it's green. And it has these speckles in cream and dark blue. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and also show it here because I feel like the color is more uh, concise here and more correct. So you see light blue um, little speckles and cream and gray and oh, mm. I'm obsessed with this. It's delicious. Okay. But then there's also the gray one. So the gray one has some white speckles in them and some black speckles in it. And it's just, <gasps> yeah. Do you, you want to show it? No, I just wanted to help you hold it if Thank uh, you. You, <laughs> you were a little overwhelmed. So this is actually knitted in, in uh, seed stitch. So it's super, super easy to do and yeah it's just the perfect thing to have i mean <laughs> i've actually made one it's uh the pink one that you yeah, got we you showed actually, that issue we did ago, yeah right? and i actually made that one in pink because you know <laughs> it's i love pink gorgeous. and it's so it beautiful so gorgeous. but now but, it's um, it is up yeah it's available for it's free available. on our website and i put a link in the description box so, so please, go follow, you can follow that directly to yeah. get to the pattern. And, and if you it. guys are going to uh, knit it, please use the hashtag yeah. Kobe Live because really I see just want to like talk to you guys and actually yeah. like interact there too. So, um, so yeah, these new dickies basically. Yeah. And then we also have a new pattern Ooh. that's called a lean one. And Camila is saying that she wants the gray one. Yeah. And that we have a lot of people saying the the green. Really? Mm. Which one do you like the best? I I actually I I like pink. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what was I think I would also pick the gray one in this yeah. case, even though green is my favorite color. Mm. Um, but I really really like the gray one because I think that it would fit with more stuff. So. So one second, sorry, DM mm -hmm. uh, is asking if it was crochet or knitted, and it was a knitted. Um, the neck warmer. Yeah, it's knitted and it's knitted in seed stitch. So a little mm. rib and the rest is in seed stitch. So it's so easy to make and it's so fun. Yeah. But this is actually the second pattern yeah. that we have released this past Ooh, week and a half. it's matching me a bit. It is actually matching you. Mm. I'm actually not going to come close to uh, to the main webcam. To the main webcam because <laughs> we all know that this is light blue and that's overexposed if I yeah. come close. So here it is. This gorgeous sweater is actually knitted with um wool power so it's knitted with wool yeah and with um two strands of kitzel mm. so 
I cannot explain how soft this is and how simple this uh, sweater is to make. Mm. What it has, it has um, uh, slightly balloony <laughs> arms. So that's really, really, really beautiful. And uh, and it has, a, I mean, it's just knitted with a rib stitch here and then stock in it. And then you assemble it by, uh, you know, sewing it together. Mm. So it's so easy to make and it's like no fuss. It's the type of project no that mass, you would no probably fuss. do when you're you know, sitting in front of a TV yeah. or watching us live. <laughs> it's the thing you would do. And it's so warm. It's the Hoobie Lab sweater. Precisely. <laughs> and it's super soft. So it's yeah. like, uh, you know, it's uh, soft approved by Jaya. <laughs> so, so we uh, have some great um, questions here. Mm -hmm. uh, Camila's asking if we could see the gray uh, neck warmer on you, Jaya. Yes, if you don't you know mind. What? I'm even going to put on my jacket so you guys can see how yeah. it looks like with a yeah. jacket on. And then we have uh, Pills Gaming asking if we can tell a little bit about the shiny yarn behind us. And uh, that we can show it, definitely. Let's give it a little show after. But let's see the neck warmer first. There wow. it is. So you see, you're fooling people because you're actually not, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, and also saw a comment from someone saying that these are great for kids, right? Because they... It won't get in the way of any play or anything. It's just there. Precisely. Keep them warm. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I love Great it. Great job, mean, Gia. I didn't put it right, but... Oh, uh, honey. Help me. Pull it down a bit. This? Thank you. Yes. It's because I can't get oh, over. So <laughs> Thank you. This is why I would need a gentleman. My boyfriend would probably <laughs> help me put this on. But, uh, uh, but yeah, this is how you wear it. And I mean, it's it's just... Boy, oh boy. There you go. What other question do we have? It's um. Let's see. Let's see. I would love to see the Metallico. They're spotting oh, the Metallico. They're spotting the Metallico behind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could show it for yeah, a little yeah. second, no right? No problem at all. <laughs> oh, they're like, please, please. Sure, sure, sure. Should we show Oi. it now? Oh. Ow. Sorry. Ooh. I don't know what happened actually. Oh well. Oh boy. No, it's actually just uh, black. I don't know what's happening, guys. Oh, boy. You know us. Who turns the lights off? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, boy. Actually, Lost in space. We're still here. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> we are here, but it's so bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Maybe if we just turn our camera off yeah, and try then turn it. it back again. We are still here, guys. We're trying to return. And we are going to return eventually. I mean, <laughs> it's just the usual thing, right? Oh, boy. Hmm. Hard to see in the dark for sure. But please, t t interact with the chat. See what the chat is saying to us. So guys, we'll be back in just one moment. We're trying to figure out what on earth is happening here. Let me see. Yeah, Migli is saying hard to see the yarn in the dark. Oh boy. It's the Metallico. Yeah. It's the, you know, it's us. Uh, yeah. So you can hear us still. That's so good. Yeah, but I, you know. Someone forgot to pay the light bill. Well, yeah, <laughs> that might be it. Oh boy. It's not, um... It just doesn't want to work with us today. You were back for a minute and then lost you again. Really? Did you not pay the electric bill? Oh, boy. I actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> because our camera is actually on. This time it actually didn't die. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh... It's just being a little difficult. A little unfriendly, I would say. Hmm. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Jacinda's saying our lives are always a uh, big adventure. Yeah. 
One second, guys. We'll be right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're almost setting there. up the webcam, guys. We're setting up the second webcam. In the webcam. meantime, I'm getting Metallica ready. Mm-hmm. Let's see what colors. Probably. Purple and blue. Purple and is blue. It's perfect for you. <laughs> yeah, we really don't want to show the Metallica yarn. That's actually oh. true. We are uh, really struggling to to um, make things work. I mean, I don't know, man, why it keeps on doing this all the time. Good. And the weird thing is that <laughs> the weird thing is that it actually um, oh, <laughs> nothing works. Oh. My God. We're yeah, I'm going to start describing the yarn. <laughs> so here we have a beautiful Metallico yarn. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 70% uh, polyamide, 21% acrylic, and 9% merino wool. And it's super, super shiny, beautiful metallic, <laughs> as you could imagine. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm actually wondering if um hmm? I'm just wondering what could have gone wrong because guys we actually had fixed the problem with our with our battery dying and then <laughs> oh boy But you know what it's so nice that you guys are patient and you're still here with us I really have no idea what happened. We didn't touch anything. Yeah, we actually didn't touch anything. Maybe it's a, a case of having to restart the live. I don't know if you can even do that. I don't think that's a good idea. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you guys for being so sweet and giving us all of these... Uh, Comments saying that you ladies are such troopers and you're my favorite. Oh boy, we're really trying to make very hard to make it work. I have no idea what happened. It just suddenly went out. Yeah, and the thing is that mostly all our video went out because our webcam everything is not working everything's either. ooh. Yeah, the webcam won't even. Yeah, but that's the webcam, and it's a little bit uh, blocked as well. So um. There's a tech block. That's actually very very strange. It is. Oh well. Hmm. So, what on earth can I tell you guys about the Metallico here? Other than the fact that it's super shiny and metallic. <laughs> well, actually, what I can do is explain to you the next tip that I had prepared. Uh, which is a tip for working with variegated or color changing yarn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what, Lena? We should just uh, we should just turn this into a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh mean, boy. At this point, I don't know if we're gonna ever get the webcam to work again. No. Um, so um, so yeah. So yeah, as I was saying, I have a tip for working with the variegated yarn, and this is specifically if you are having trouble with the color pooling. And if you don't know what that is, it is, it is when, when, when you... When you <gasps> did, did I make it happen? You, you did? did? I, I think, think I did. did. Ooh! Guys, Guys, I, I think, think I'm a genius. Oh, oh boy, please. please. Except we're not. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. Give me a second. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. I, I have no idea what I've done, done but I've done it. Guys, can you see me? me? Oh my god, I hope this is working. There's, there's an, an echo, they say. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, 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 oh. But what's the sound? There it is. It should be gone right now. There should be no echo now. No echo and video should work. Please Don't tell me it's the case. Don't touch anything. Yes, yes. Echo. 
No, no, the echo should should go away in a second. I actually turned it off. I did it! I did it! Okay, I'm excited. A bee zen. You know what? What on earth is going on? The webcam stopped working, but you know what? Let's move on. <laughs> Let's totally move on. So as we, we promised, need to show the Metallico really as quick, As we right? promised, we're going to show the Metallico very, very quick. <laughs> very, very uber shiny Metallico. You did it. Thank you for rooting for us. I mean, you Ooh. guys, you guys are the best. You guys are really the best. I'm very, very, very grateful mm. that you guys are patient with us and, you know... <sighs> There we go. Here is our beautiful, beautiful Metallico. Should I actually show? The, I want to show the color that I like. The yeah, of course, do it. Well, oh, it's not that one. It's this one. Oh man, it's like a blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. That it's has beautiful. actual like a silver thread through it almost. Hmm. But yes, Metallico. <laughs> Gorgeous colors. People are saying. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, you got a little sneak peek of the dark and uh, of Echo Voices <laughs> and of the Metallico. And so I'm gonna... Oh, I feel like I need a... Oh, so, someone is writing again now that... Uh... It's echoing. Guys, is it still echoing? Is it still echoing or not? <laughs> Maybe... Um... Maybe our it's not echoing. Oh okay, my God. cool. Stop fooling us. <laughs> like you can easily fool perfect, us. Perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna jump into my next trick, uh, tip trick, <laughs> tip trick, and um, I'm just gonna explain. Yes. So when you're working with variegated yarn or mm -hmm. color changing yarn, mm -hmm. you sometimes experience color pooling, and what that means is that the the repeat in the you the color. Here. Thank you. <laughs> the color repeats in the in the yarn kind of goes on top of each other, so you end up having big like blocks of the same color in your work. And um, I recently started working with color changing yarn, and mm -hmm. and I found that this was a problem for me. Okay. So I got a tip, and it's super simple, and you probably already know it, but I just wanted to share it because I thought it was great. Which is instead of just using <clears throat> one skein. If you take two skeins mm -hmm. and you alternate every second row or so, okay, you won't end up with the color uh, pooling in the same okay. way. Do okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. The... so two skeins of the same variegated yarn, mm -hmm. and you alternate every second row. If you don't have two skeins of the same yarn, you can use one and either split it into two or use each end. So one thread you take from the inside and one thread you take from the outside, right? Yeah, yeah, I get and it. And this should um, stop the color pooling, which is really nice. Uh, and I mean, um, does it work with with any color changing yarn, or does it just work with uh, with specific ones? Or no, it should it should work fine with both. I mean, mm -hmm. there is a difference. Some yarns have like short color changes, and some have long color changes. Okay. So, and in many cases, you like to do the color pulling. You like to do it on purpose, right? Yeah, but yeah. if you don't, <laughs> then try that trick. Um, it worked for me at least. I'm actually uh, claptrap is asking us if we can show the black and white. Uh, Metallico. Yeah, so of course. I'm gonna do it because why not? Obviously, the white is just white. <laughs> I can guarantee you that it shines like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. But the black one you can definitely see, and it's also super shiny. But I feel like this black one is a little bit more matte. It's still very metallic and very shiny. But I yeah. feel like the purple, for instance, if you put it next to it, the purple shines a little bit more. And that is easy to explain because darker colors usually absorb light mm. more. Mm. I mean, just think about, the, you know, uh, yeah, it just works that way, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, so obviously, the brighter the color, the more shine it has, and the darker mm. the color, the less shine. But nonetheless, it's still quite shiny. Um, even it's so, it's really beautiful. I think it's so soft. This yarn, it's really soft, and I mean, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely gonna make like I know that a um a friend um 
A friend of mine made a headband out of it. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. she used this color, but I'm not very sure. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. It looks like she's wearing a crown, and I'm like so jealous. Yeah, of and her. Kat did one too as well. There's yeah, a true pattern true. coming out true. of it. Yeah. Oh, there is actually. Yeah. There's a super beautiful knitted headband coming out of it, and I'm sure that there's going to be a crochet one at some point. Oh, yeah. So, okay, yes, so I think yes, I'm yes. just going <laughs> to, while the camera is working, oh. I'm going to move on to the last tip that I prepared today. Mm -hmm. And, um,. Now that we moved, I don't think we should touch any cameras. Yeah, I don't so think we should either. We'll show it in a different way. But this tip is um, if you like to work with uh, yarn that is a little, uh, not weird, but special. You know, like very... Um, like novelty yarn, basically. Novelty yarn. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for Novel helping me with remembering. I have your back. So eyelash yarn or, you know, fake fur yarn like this or whatever kind of yarn that goes into that category. So I love working with these. They give an amazing effect. But guys, you can't see your stitches. Oh, yes. Oh, I yes. I, I know. I can't see my stitches. I know. It's like super... Um, it's just not working it's just a mess it's so fluffy it's just a mess yeah. and i know i had a friend who tried to do a, a, a blanket out of it yeah and she gave up midway she was like nope nope exactly so i have a few uh, short tips on how to make that easier number one make sure you have proper lighting mm -hmm. really make sure you have proper lighting number two work with a crochet hook that has a contrasting color uh, to the yarn you're working with yeah uh, number three, when you have a row, uh, instead of trying to see your stitches, really try to like use your fingers to feel where is the next stitch and then you can insert the hook, right? Okay. And the last tip is using, a, and this is, do you remember I asked you this the other day, a, a pairing? What was I saying? I can't remember what you said, like uh, um, um, you mentioned something like, a pair th thread? <laughs> no, not a pair thread. You said like a companion. Though. No, yeah, companion, companion thread. Companion thread. Use a companion thread, which I did a here. Can you show this really up close? I um, can actually show it super up close. So here is the fluffy yarn that she used. And I have a companion thread within which there, right? Which is this right? one, right? Yeah. It's like a buddy thread that it's kind of like almost the same color. Yeah. So that it kind of gets lost into uh, what she's knitted here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And what I used, so the fluffy yarn I used is the Teddy from Go Handmade. Yeah. And uh, my companion thread is the Soft Bamboo Double from Go oh, Handmade boy. as well. So find a thread, a thin thread. It could also be another example. could be using a, a Couture from a Go Handmade. Can you show this up close? Oh my Which God. Which is more of an eyelash yarn. Hello. For, for that, I would recommend something like um, Rainbow Lace. Mm -hmm. Because if you look really oh, yes. close, you can see that the, that the eyelash yarn has that kind of light blue kind of... Um, yeah, so it's basically, it shines uh, it shines brighter than the actual color mm. it has. Mm. So using a lighter color, like a lace yarn, yeah. um, you know, it's not going to... It's not going to distract your eye from the actual color, right? Yeah. Somebody's asking if the Metallico is a medium for yarn. I think it is. Yeah, I would say yes. Oh. And, um... <laughs> Yasinta is like, yeah, 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 you're back. No echo. <laughs> <laughs> um, what a scare. So that was actually the end of the tips that we had prepared for you guys today. Mm -hmm. And um, that was... Uh, just a few um, tips on, you know, trying to solve some of the problems that I think a lot of us have <laughs> working with the different yarns. Mm -hmm. And I also think that going forward, we're probably going to like research or share more of our, uh, you know, insights into uh, so many things like yeah. tips with your with your hooks, tips with your needles, tips with the tools that we have around, more tips about yarn. Yeah. But that's like, you know. We wanted to just cover what we thought was the most annoying right now in yeah. the first episode. Yeah, exactly. So, I so. think that it's time for me to share my little news with you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so yeah, excited. Uh, I almost had a heart attack before with the whole camera thing, but I hope that we are ready for it now. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready to hear something crazy? <laughs> 
it's pretty crazy. Yeah. But let us know if you're ready because this is pretty big for Lina. Yeah, it is. Oh, Lori is ready. Yes. Okay, so actually it kind of connects uh, to what the theme is going to be next time. Mm-hmm. And so uh, next time the theme of our live is going to be patterns for babies little patterns for babies <laughs> and do you guys know why we're making patterns for babies hmm i wonder hmm. let's see oh <laughs> people are already uh saying that yes they're ready they're ready they're ready okay so of course it's because i'm having a baby yeah. i am having a baby <laughs> Because Lina's gonna be a mommy. Yeah, I can show you my little belly. Mommy Lina. Oh, oy, oy, oy. oh, it's so nice. If I can get up here. Wait. Yeah, you can actually see it. I'm just gonna go away from the. The there guys go. see. Yeah. Aww. So I have a little hoopy baby. Look, everybody <laughs> saying congratulations. Yay, a baby on the way. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations. Look at that. Oh, guys. look at that, mommy, 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 mommy. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I actually, I want to be honest with you guys. I made zero stuff yet <laughs> for my baby. So on the next live um, episode, which is going to be in two weeks um, on a Sunday, same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, I just I get distracted by the sweet comments. You know what? Enjoy your comments. I'm going to just talk about it. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, two weeks from now, we're going to search... Um, our favorite baby patterns that we have uh, available on our website because yeah. there's there's loads of them. Yeah. And uh, we're going to present it to you, but hopefully like you guys can also help us out. Tell yeah, us, I would uh, really like to, to uh, you know, you guys help me out a little bit next time because I'm going to, I'm going to bring some of the patterns that I, I'm going to, you know, think I will do, which is mm-hmm. going to be crochet. And you're just going to bring some great ideas that I needed. But if you have any tips on what do what is like a, a really good idea to yeah. make. Like, yeah. Like what is it yeah. that she really needs? I mean, obviously everybody's going to, you know, have their opinions and everybody around us is like, you have to make a blanket. Yeah. You have to make this. You have yeah. to make a that. But, you know. Yeah. We really want your help. So if you can help Lee now decide it what you so really nice. need, it would be super, super great. And hey, use the hobby hashtag if you guys want to let us know beforehand <laughs> while we prepare like, a, yeah. you know, the patterns for next week. That yeah. would be pretty nice. Definitely. So someone's asking, uh, you know, when I'm due. And I can just tell you that I am a little over halfway. <laughs> so I'm going to give birth uh, during the summer. Mm-hmm. So in a few months. And that's super scary. <laughs> So we're definitely uh, going to be uh, doing uh, and showing a lot of patterns that are yeah. uh, uh, made with maybe bamboo and, you know. Yeah, that's another thing. That's really what I yeah. could also use a little bit of help on. What what kind of yarn do you use uh, for a baby in the middle of the summer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, of course, you can always think about, oh, it's a baby. Okay, then use super wash wool. But, I mean, if it's mm. if it's super hot outside... You definitely want an alternative. Yeah. And I feel like all the designers are always using super washable. Mm, mm. So we really want to look into finding something that is for summer. Yeah. So I need your help, guys. I just want to thank you so much for all of the sweet comments. And I mm-hmm. see Amy is saying that she was a July baby and I was too. Oh. Actually, so I'm going to have uh, the baby pretty close to my own birthday. Mm-hmm. So let's, can we just uh, read a few of the comments here? Aw, Anne is saying, I can tell you want to cry a little bit. Of course, of course. I'm so emotional. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, I'm so happy for her because, uh, you know, it's been something that I've seen. I've seen seen it growing in your belly all these months. And And now we're at the point where the baby is kicking all the time. So I'm just, you know, trying to hide it. Did not feel in any way natural yeah, to yeah, me like yeah. last time on the last life i was sitting on the couch with like the with the the, <laughs> the blanket on top of my lap and someone was coming saying what a beautiful blanket and i was like oh no yeah what if she sees the belly but, yeah yeah we were, yeah i think you were not very sure if you wanted to share it yet or yeah. you wanted to wait a yeah. little longer and but now the belly is so big so everybody's saying use cotton use counter and make Ooh. rompers like a lot of Oh, Patty's saying that you're glowing. She actually is. <laughs> I work with her on a daily basis and she's actually glowing every Aww. day. 
I feel like she's just turning into this beautiful, beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and let's wow. see. There's so many. Like, people are just so happy for you. And yeah. that's how we feel. Yeah. And Mikkel is saying it. For sure, colleagues at Hobie are yeah. going to probably knit you yeah. so many things. And they're going to crochet so many things for yeah. you. Yeah. So um, I would love that. It, that's so sweet. <laughs> and actually, speaking of, uh, of baby stuff, we actually have a lot of uh, new... Um, patterns coming up for babies yeah um, so hopefully they will be out by so the time nice. we have the next uh the next life so we can share them i feel so much lighter <laughs> just like oh i could say it. and yeah. now, I, now you can uh, excuse yourself when you need to go to the toilet yeah and yeah. i can uh i can uh, react when the baby kicks because she kicks all the time i'm having a girl by the way <laughs> i don't know if i forgot to say that i'm having Aww. a girl yeah a little baby lean yeah that's so sweet. Yeah. But yeah, people are saying that plant-based fibers are great for lighter uh, wearables for babies. Tina is saying you are so beautiful. Aww. And caps lock. Thank so you. she's screaming it. Um, oh, that's yeah. so sweet. Yeah, that's so, so sweet. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, I would love if you could hopefully join us next time. It's going to be in two weeks, a Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time again. If you can bring all of these great ideas for the next time, that would be so awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, I'm actually ready to show you guys how to cast off. I mean, stick around if you need to know how to cast off Yeah. your headband. Um, yeah. Does Lena want to show me her headband? I did my headband. She actually finished her headband. I don't know, but now you can get up. Yeah. <laughs> and actually uh, Jamie is telling us that he found a video on how to make a bee so just so you guys know uh, my boyfriend is a gamer and he loves uh, gaming with me we play Minecraft together sometimes <laughs> so um, I was telling he was asking me to uh, crochet uh, something for his car something to hang out his car and he said he really wanted a Minecraft bee mm. and it was so difficult to find one and actually Jamie just said that he just found one so I'm oh. super excited please use hashtag hobby live so I can uh, you know check it out um, but yeah so I did uh, this is my very first ever knitting project and uh, it's a little crooked or, <laughs> you it's, know, it's, it's uh, so, it's so nice considering that this is your first ever project. I yeah. really think so. Let me Thank get you. mine. So now my question is, how do you plan on showing this, Gia? Because uh, do not touch, do not dare to touch the camera. It's okay. We don't need to, um, to actually show, uh, to show it up close. Okay. I'm knitting along. Yes, you can knit along. So, so if you've gotten so far, thank you for saying great job. <laughs> My shoulders are so sore because I'm sitting like this when I'm knitting. My God, oh, sweet girl. So, right. so I'm gonna explain it super quickly. I finished mine, by the way. In case you're you're thinking that I haven't, <laughs> I actually finished mine, but I costed this one off, uh, and I'm just gonna um, um, sew it in later. So the way you would um, cast off is basically we're just going to follow the same um, pattern we've been doing so far. So we're going to slip the first stitch um, pearl-wise like we had with the yarn in the front. You yeah. probably can't see it, but I could come closer to you, but then I'm thinking, hmm. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. Uh, so yeah. just just do it what you've done so far. So you're going to slip the first stitch and then you are going to purl the next one. Just like we have so far uh, to to create the actual pattern. Mm -hmm. And now for the fun part. Now we're going to cast off our first stitch, which basically we're going to go with our needle into the first stitch that we've casted off or not casted off, sorry, that we've knitted, the mm -hmm. one we've slipped. You go through it and then you pull your other stitch through like this you pull this stitch through yeah yeah precisely and that's it that's your first costed off stitch Ooh. and then the next one you're gonna knit it the next stitch we're gonna knit that knit. people are saying anything washable and dryable oh yeah you're gonna be washing so many clothes for your baby <gasps> and then you're gonna do the same you're gonna put insert your needle through your first stitch that you have on 
this needle yeah. just the same way and then pull that loop through. Ooh, oh my god, I'm so scared every time. <laughs> I have to pull something and off. then you purl it. So basically, we're following that pattern that okay. we've done for um for the stockinette. And then we are going to just follow the pattern, knit, purl, knit, purl, but slipping it over. Oh boy, yeah. I can actually try to go. Oh yeah, to the don't weapon. don't challenge the camera. Shouldn't I challenge it? No. Okay. 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 You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it. What are people saying? And you know what? If you guys are still having difficulties with the cast off, we do have the technique available on our yeah. um, on our website. So we. I'm like breaking nails and breaking nails and everything. breaking needles and breaking everything. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's a hard job being a knitter I can definitely say. see but um, yeah you keep doing that until you have one stitch left which we're almost there right you have like <laughs> yeah you're Yo. almost there yes knit pearl knit oh, knit pearl I'm knit I'm not sure if that's correct but uh, let's try mm -hmm. oh boy oh. how are you guys doing just generally. Olga saying that she only crochets for babies and kids. That's so sweet. Oh, then I would love for you to join us next time, Olga. Yeah, I'd love your help. <laughs> and just use the hashtag if you want us to tag it uh, to check out your your Instagram account. Yeah, definitely. That would be very very nice. And let's see. Yeah, we would actually love to be able to kind of put a put a face on. Yeah, put a face um, on the people that we're talking to, right? Because yeah. it's a little like. We kind of recognize a lot of the people that have joined us um, over the the last lives. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I would definitely love to be able to. Oh, this is this person, and this is that yeah. person. Okay, I okay. have one left. Then you're gonna knit that one, like you would, and then you're gonna slip it. Can like, I uh, take it off? it off? Yeah, take it off. Yeah. And then just slip it like you have over it. Uh huh. And then you pull, 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 pull like this. You just pull out the the thread. And you're Gucci. You are very Gucci. <gasps> you have finished. Do, 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it should be twisted, right? Yeah, actually. So so the... the what we're going to do when we sew Ooh, it up, we <laughs> have to twist it like this. Yeah. So you would twist it and then join it together. Yeah. And you sew it up. However, Easy. you want to do, and it should be looking something like this. <laughs> but wow. obviously, yeah. like a little nicer. Don't have time to like make myself look like a babe wow. right today. Mm -hmm. But yeah, look at us. We look like uh, divas from the twenties. But yeah, this is it. It's actually pretty simple, right? It's super simple. And uh, I might end up uh, eventually doing a tutorial for it uh, for <laughs> anybody who is yeah. out there, you know, starting their new uh, their new adventure into knitting. I want to actually say thank you for teaching me this. Yeah, you were a wonderful teacher. You're welcome. And um, it was a great project to practice on. Yeah, it actually yeah. was. And I promised my mom that she would get this headband for Christmas. <laughs> and my colleague Camilla said that she would uh, make sure that it happened. And uh, so, mom, you're getting this for Christmas. <laughs> so, I hope you can wait. <laughs> all all right, right, guys. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you uh, next yeah. week. And I mean, yeah, this was it for today. It was. That was all for me, Jaya from Hobby and Lena, and Lena from Hobby. From Hobby. I don't really have something that rhymes with my yeah. name, do you I? Need, you need to, like, you just need to find something that's catchy. Yeah. You mama, you. Mama. All right, guys. Well, mm. it was a pleasure seeing you today. Yeah. And thank you for the patience. I mean, yeah. I can definitely see that you guys are knitters and crocheters because, boy, oh, boy, are you patient. Yeah, you are. So, um, yeah, remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't for more fun. Uh, great content that mm. we're uh, putting out. Yeah. And um, yeah, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when these lives come up. Yeah, so and you just can join. to like recap again that the, the next live is going to be in two weeks. So not 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 yeah. next Sunday, but the next Sunday again, mm -hmm. and it's going to be one p.m. Eastern time, like today. Yeah, and the topic will be baby, baby Babies. stuff, baby, baby patterns, everything. baby yeah. patterns, baby yarn. 
Yes. So, um, all right, guys. Yeah. I'll see you then. I'm going to miss you. Yeah. I'm going to miss you until then. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I'm just going to go and turn <laughs> it off. Oh, Gia's going to turn it off. <laughs>